Hey everybody, welcome back to Sentinels of VMI, where we have been exposing for about nine months and will continue to do so, the woke takeover of VMI, and as well as the bravery and the pushback of those who have the courage, despite the fact that they will be slandered and attacked and called racist, continue to stand up to defend the school and retain the integrity of a system that is completely merit-based, the hallmark of a VMI education and experience. If you want to support this channel, you can do so by clicking the link in the description and going to buy me a coffee. It's a little website I found, which is an easy way for people to do a one-time support thing. It's Friday and I am determined to get this out without getting very, very snarky or yelling at the camera. Wish me luck. This is take like 75. And again, she was crazy. Um, yesterday, it was officially announced that the DEI director, Dr. Jamika Love of VMI, is resigning. And that was announced via email by Major General Cedric Wins, the superintendent of VMI. I'm going to link it in the description below as well, so you can read the whole thing. It consisted of three paragraphs. The third one just basically saying that the deputy director will act as the interim. The first one um, stated what a wonderful job Dr. Love has done and all that she contributed to VMI. So I started to list these things out, um, and I'm going to do that very briefly. And then I want to get to the most important paragraph, the second paragraph. This is what I remember Dr. Love achieving at VMI. The first thing that she did was the most atrocious. She crafted and implemented the delivery of a training plan that corralled all of our young men and women who willingly have submitted themselves to the rigor of a VMI education into a room and using communistic brainwashing prisoner of war tactics, ask them to repeatedly expose among their peers some of the most vulnerable, embarrassing, and oftentimes traumatic things that have ever happened to them or things about themselves, their religion, their sexual history, whether or not their parents were ever divorced, um, whether or not they were ever molested, th their financial background. And they were supposed to publicly step forward or step back if those things applied to them. And the moral of that story at the end of that class was that all the white males were privileged and therefore they were the source of everyone else's shared pain. Is that the only way you can succeed is to see me fail? That's equity. That is equity in a nutshell. Since then, she's done a number of other things that have been detrimental or embarrassing or both. With the highlight being last fall when they invited a woman who is an activist for fatness to our campus, but she's not just, an, she wasn't just an activist for fatness. She was a person who performed at sex shows to come and speak in the Hall of Valor. This woman authored a book called The Daddies, which is about daddy-daughter sex kink or insane world molestation, glorification of molestation. We got to protect our youth. We got to protect our kids and our goddaughters and our nephews and our nieces and our cousins from weird ass freak motherfuckers like this. You feel me? So 
those are the contributions that I remember about Dr. Love. When those types of severe things weren't going on, what I remember most is thinking, what is this woman doing? Because she was hired to do this job and they're paying her all of this money. And the main thing she's doing is getting other people to do that job. Let's go on to paragraph two. This one shocked me and I don't get shocked very easily anymore. You can't kill him. He's like a cockroach. General Wins, our woke superintendent, who I've been pointing out to people, I'm like, he is on board. He is part of this woke agenda group. He is part of the DEI um, activists. He is. They installed him. He just proved me right. Because in his second paragraph, he states that they are just as committed to equity as they were when they said so three years ago in 2020. Now, if you don't know what's been going on, in case you're new to the channel, I'm going to just briefly tell you what that means. The majority of the VMI community have squarely rejected this equity agenda because it is in stark contrast to the merit-based system that always has been VMI. So he basically confirmed and told all of those people to piss off. And then in addition, he very clearly, it couldn't be any more clear. There is no ambiguity here. He told the governor of Virginia, his boss, his commander in chief to piss off. And let me qualify, qualify that statement as I wrap up. Governor Yonkin got elected and he said, we're not doing DEI, we'll do diversity, opportunity, and inclusion. Diversity is great, inclusion is great, but equity is garbage. And equality is what this country was built on and is how it's gonna stay. It's what the civil rights movement was based on. And this stuff, we all know that. Governor Yonkin, being the person that he is, gave General Wins an in, over a year to, they, he just backed off and was like, okay, you, you know my direction. I'm going to give you room to make these changes. Take your time. Take your time. General Wins refused. He wouldn't do it. Things just kept getting worse. So finally, this spring, Governor Yonkin gently, because that's the type of man he is, intervened. He sent Dr. I don't know if he's a doctor, Mr. Martin Brown, the new chief of diversity, opportunity, and inclusion from his own office to VMI to speak and declare DEI is dead. We're not doing that anymore. We're not talking about it anymore. So the 21st, April 21st, 839. So we've been talking about it. I really appreciate you sharing that. But let's take a moment right now to kill that cow. DEI is dead. We're doing DOI. This guy came under such attack it was insane, but he took that flack. In Richmond today, former Governor Doug Wilder said the state's chief diversity officer should be fired for recent comments on diversity, equity, and inclusion. Wilder said Governor Glenn Youngkin should replace Martin Brown for saying that DEI is dead during a recent visit to Virginia Military Institute. They gave him cover so that he could save face and gently start to recorrect course. Then Governor Yunkin ex extends the olive branch by coming and speaking at graduation, showing his goodwill. And this is how General Wins has responded. So in case any of you were still trying to give him the benefit of the doubt, you know who the biggest trying to give General Wins the benefit of the doubt is, has been Matt Daniel, the head of the board of uh, the head of Spirit of VMI PAC, who I haven't talked to. He has been trying to believe the best about Cedric Wins, just like so many other people, that he has the best for VMI in mind, that he's really, uh, uh, you know, sane, and that he can be persuaded to be logical and do what's best for the school. Well, nope. So there you go. See you, Dr. Love. I hope you find a better place. I don't have anything personal against you. When we talked briefly last year, we both talked about how we came from... Um, uh, we talked about, I think we talked about our dads. I can't remember what you said your dad do, but I did, but I shared with you why I find it offensive. <laughs>
For people to say that all white males are privileged when I saw my dad only miss one day of work and that's because he had welders flash and his eyes were bulging out of his head and it was the most grotesque thing I had ever seen as a little girl and it scared the death out of me. Um, but apparently in today's world, he would be considered privileged because of his skin color. And knowing what I know and seeing what I've seen growing up, Apparently, in the world of academia, there are no poor white people, but I've seen them my whole life. So none of this stuff makes any sense to those of us who live in reality, and it never will. So you need to find your place back in some echo chamber college where nobody is willing to go against the narrative. And there's a lot of students pouring in that are like, I'm a victim, coddle me. That is where you would be best suited. And I wish you well because everybody has a place. So good luck in your future endeavors. And I really mean that. I'm sorry that we've had to be so hard on you, but you shouldn't have done that to our kids. We had to bring it out. So there it is. I hope everybody has a good weekend. Next video will be on all the numbers. And I'm going to try to put that together to be brief too. Thank you. I appreciate it.